Hello YouTube, I'm Master Cho and today I'm going to show you unboxing of S20 Plus, I mean Galaxy S20 Plus 5G. It's a Korean variant and I got this unit for my personal use. I'm not sponsored by not, I'm not sponsored by Samsung or or KT, which is a service provider in Korea. If you open the, open the box, there's a small black paper box, jelly case, which is great. And here's the USIM ejector fin, um, simple manual, and okay, smart switch guide. This is the pawn. I got my unit in cosmic gray. It's a dark gray with a with kind of warm gray, not a cool gray. No, actually it's warm. Actually it's cool gray. Okay. Good. And here's USB-C type charger. I believe this is 25 watts. Okay. And here it is USB C type cable with both ends. And there's earbud. 3 different size tips and USB C connector. Very, quite simple. Okay, let me just. I just got this phone, so I need to open my SIM here and have to insert. Where is it? Oh, it's on top. So you see, SIM goes here and SD card goes here. I mean micro SD. Okay, my SIM goes here. And I got this 200 gigabyte SD card, micro SD card. Let's turn on. Okay. I'm sorry this in Korean, but basically this is just I have to agree some end user license here. It's Wi-Fi network. Connected to the to my home Wi-Fi. Okay, it's rebooting because of the because of the activation process for the for the five G network. Okay, I can migrate from the from my old phone, which is a Redmi Note. A T, but I will do it later. Okay. 
It's loading Assistant, Google Assistant. <coughs> Sorry about that. Okay, back up to Google Drive. Yeah, just approve it. Everything. I will not use any password at the moment to show you how it how it actually look like. I mean the UI. I, okay, it requires to for me to log in to Samsung account. I think I had one because several years ago I, I used Samsung device, but now I just oh I need to actually I need to log in. Well screw it. I'll do it later. Yeah. And some app suggestions here. I don't want that. There are some there are so many. Okay. Okay, the setup is done. Now it's the screen. Ah. Okay, I believe now this is in QHD mode, so it'll be it must be sixty hertz refresh rate. So I mean, this phone is great. Uh, it's it kind of a little bit thicker than that I remember with the S10, but this feels very nice. And the the most the best thing I I like about this phone is it doesn't have this aggressive curve anymore. It doesn't have it anymore, which I really hate with the Samsung device. Now it's almost flat, uh, which is which we typically called 2.5D but actually it's slightly it has slightly more curve than other 2.5D phones like like this very typical Chinese or low grade phone and yeah it has a <coughs> protective protective film on the on the screen out of the box and back protection can be peeled off. The color is well I, I don't think it's great but it's not bad so and I don't I don't have chance to get the white or other black white or black one because this was the only one left at the mobile phone store so yeah so I'll use this for my daily driver from now on, so maybe I can share some more insights or review on this device later, hopefully. Thank you for watching and leave a comment below so for any, any question or any, anything you want to know. Please feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you and please subscribe and thumbs up.